But anyway. Why did you start your YouTube channel? Nairobi. I mean. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Stands too long for a nigga so cheap. Being flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Hey. You got it, girl. You got it. Yeah. Pretty little thing. You got a bag and now you wildin'. Hey, little guys. Welcome back to another video. I know it has taken me a lifetime to shoot this, but I tried a couple of times. I've shot this, like I've tried to, like. Whenever I'm in front of the camera, I'm like stuck. All the English are gone. Hi guys, welcome to another video of mine. And now we're going to do this in official wear because I'm not a job. And if I change. And I shower and I lie down. Trust me, I'm not doing this video. So, yeah, let's do this. And it wasn't really going the way I wanted it to. So, I decided to just take my time and, yeah, at least I get to figure out what I'm going to say in the video. So, thank you so much for clicking on this video and yeah like subscribe share and hit the so please sub whatever button down there so that you get notified every time that i post so for this video i'm going to do a q and a because i just started without introducing myself so i thought about it and this channel needs a proper introduction, so that is what we are going to do today. I wrote down a few questions, and they are the ones I'm going to tackle for this video. So yeah, question number one, my name, obviously. Um, my name is Brenda Mbili Some people call me Mbilu from my IG, that's my username in IG, and some people call me just Mumbi, yeah. I feel like Mumbi is more common than Brenda. And sometimes when I introduce, sometimes, not all the time. Because like, I can look at you when you're so formal, I'll, I'll be like Brenda. But when you're just chilling, having a good time, I'll be like, yeah, my name is Mumbi. So I feel like it depends. If I've introduced myself to you as Mumbi, yeah, now you know my first name. <laughs> Question two. How old are you? Um, 23 years of age. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. And yeah, I'm an Aquarius. I don't know all about astrology at the all rising. What? I don't know. I'm an Aquarius. Anyway, moving on to the third question. Where am I from? Um, hometown, Embu. Hometown is Embu, but currently I'm not in Embu. I live in Meru and work in Meru. I'm just trying to make my small space feel like a home because I recently moved here and yeah, I'm just trying to transition into an adult if I may say. Yeah. I'm from a family of five, including my parents, five like three kids and two parents so i'm the middle child i have a big brother and a small sister i'm so grateful for my family honestly and yeah moving on to another question 
Are uh, you in school? No, I'm not in school. I guess I've already answered that. I'm currently working. I pursued a course called Medical Art Science. That's, yeah, that's it. Which campus were you in? I studied in Mount Kenya University, main campus, that is in Thika. Yeah, and I took my four year course there. And I finished and I graduated last year. I'll insert some of my pictures in my graduation. Yeah, some of them. Moving on to the next question. Why did you start your YouTube channel? The purpose of me starting my YouTube channel was like I wanted a space where I can just create to educate because like me as a scientist, <clears throat> me as a scientist, I'm going to teach you a few things, a few things. So stick around, like, just watch, be around, subscribe. Hmm? Good things are coming. Next question. What kind of content are you planning to put out there and why? The content that I'm planning to film and put out there is past hair content. Hair, I really love doing my own hair. Is I did this hair, me, these hands of mine did this hair and I've been taking care of my hair for like, let me say two years now because before I didn't used to but then I sat down, learned about what products you use and what routine to maintain and honestly for the past two years I've really seen growth and yeah, to fashion, beauty, and all that. Makeup kidogo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Even if I've done my makeup, I'm not like that perfect. It takes like, you're not like really perfect. Like every day you can learn something new. I know consistency and like practicing each and every time. Yeah, you'll get perfect. That's what I'm planning to do. So stick around and yeah, I mean, there are good things coming up. Next question. Um, what did you want to be when you were young? What I wanted to be? I feel like everyone has that cliche kind of stuff of saying a pilot, a doctor, an engineer. And I remember I used to say a surgeon so much. But I feel like my choices were influenced because my mom is a nurse. And growing up in such a household of having a routine, rotating her kind of work, you know, we've moved a lot because she's always getting transfers here and there. And I feel like being in such an environment can influence your choice. And uh, I mean, we've come this far, so I don't regret it. I'm so grateful for my mom, honestly. She's one she's one strong woman yeah and the next question what are you most inspired by who and why what what inspires me financial freedom inspires me like i know money is not everything money don't bring happiness so. but like yeah like financial freedom inspires me and who people i'm around my dad like he's one hella quiet guy but the way he does his things i mean he balances that shit so well that sometimes I, sometimes i just don't know how he does it and why because i mean first of all who wouldn't want to be financially free next question what habit would you most like to break and what habit would you most like to start the habits that i would like to break procrastination let let me give an example with youtube i'm from work and uh, i just wanna shoot something i just come home and tired i'm just like nah i will do it tomorrow and the habit that i would like to start is reading books I haven't read a lot of books and I would love to. Of course, I've read some books, but 
mostly fictional, but now I want to start self-improvement kind of books and yeah, the atomic habits, those type of books, those ones. Yeah, on to the next question. What do you do to relax? I guess music. I listen to a lot of music. I listen to house, afro, trap, genge tone, <laughs> reggae, roots, um, piano, hip hop. Like I listen to a little bit of everything. Come on, vibes in a vibe, then this is a vibe. Yeah, you know them vibes. <laughs> Next question. When was the last time you did something you were afraid of? Last month, I started a YouTube channel. I was really in my head, like, I was thinking a lot about it. And then, my friend Stacy, and she was like, <laughs> And I was like, okay, fine, fine. I'm going to post it. Thank you for you 300 people who watched my previous video. Thank you. I didn't expect that. I thought even you can have a 100 views. But <laughs> 300. <laughs> I'm so grateful for you for watching. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me let me explain the main reason why I didn't start immediately. Because when I was in school, Medical school is not easy. Guy, it's, it's not, honestly, it's not easy. I wanted to be patient with it. Like, I didn't want to rush it. At least, I got that done. And the next reason, hmm? Nai robbery. I mean, nimeputuza almost three phones. Tattoo. Mtu angi nimbia that amiputuza simu. Ama migua simu. I just know how it feels. So, it and every time, I'm just like, Yo, dad. Fanyevi. <laughs> Aya, Fanyevi. Evi. Fanyevi, wewe. Nairobi has taught me a few lessons. And. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I digress. But yeah, I was afraid. But, I mean, I did it. It was my first video and response was not terrible like it wasn't terrible we all start from somewhere right so yeah on to the next question what are you most proud of me i'm proud of me like i'm proud that i can say patience is my virtue like it's one of my virtue like i'm so patient like know your story of patricia simo like I know sometimes it can be frustrating but because like it was my fault but I didn't want to project that into my parents kind of pocket you know they had their stuff going on and I mean at last of course I need buy a your time it tested my patience and I'm also proud of myself because I sat through medical school and I got done with it. I'm calling it medical school because it's not like medicine and surgery, but in MKU, medical lab science ekoka medical school. On to the next question. If life stopped today, what would you regret not doing? I will regret not traveling. Traveling. Like, I want to see places that I don't even know they exist. That, like, the type of shit that you can go to the map like this and look. Oh, this island is right here. Oh, I didn't know there was such an island. Like, that type of travel. I'm manifesting through YouTube. Like, I want to travel. Yeah, I really want to do that. But I, I have a plan. Because you get, like, a one-month kind of leave at work. So, before you month yangu ya leave if you care. I feel like I have saved enough for a vacay. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'll do travel content. You never know. So stick around and find out. On to the next question. Who would you like to connect or reconnect with and why? We moved a lot when we were younger. Because of my mom, you know, she's a nurse and all that. Is so it those schools that Nilena? Five. 
primary school tano some of them i don't remember very well because i was like tiny but in nilika sana they are the last two we stayed in okambani mungi town and and embu now that's why i finished my my classes okambani like i stayed there from when i was like in class 2 till class 7 seven, seven town like i made friends but some of them i don't know where they are but there there are few of them that i in my i know where they are and we talk once in a while there should be a reunion kind of thing you know we sit down and talk about how life has been for us and i feel like that would be nice why is cuz that's my childhood that's where i made friends cuz before we tunaka for like one year and then i moved again so yeah on to the next question what is your favorite book slash movie slash song and why book the ones that i've read so far it ends with us the pink book i'll put it here yeah i feel like that story it's a love story it's nice so i love that book yeah next thing is movie I'm an animation type of girl like I watch animation zikitoka tu hivi ni kwa hapo there's an animation called Soul I've watched it like more than 5 times if you haven't you should it's about the purpose of life song my favorite song it keeps on changing cuz one time I'll be listening to Samawaka a lot and then The next time I'll be listening to J Cole a lot. The next time I'm listening to Drake, the next time I'm listening to Sexy Red, the next time I'm listening to Nicki Minaj. It changes. But right now So yeah. That's my favorite song at the moment because like you know the part where he says like I spent a half a decade working on the blueprint. Like that's me. Like right now God is blessing me and I'm so grateful to you God because come and see where we're singe kwa hapa. Yeah. I'm looking this way because like the sun is setting. Let me show you guys. question um let's jump forward a year what would you like to have achieved in the past year growth definitely growth i wouldn't want to be at the same place where i am right now uh, in all kind of aspects in terms of wisdom wise job wise youtube or spiritually financially i want to grow like i want to grow that bank like Yeah, who doesn't? So in this journal of mine, there's a prayer I've written here at the back of this book. I wrote it on the 24th of January, and I feel like on the 24th of January 2025, I'm going to read this prayer. Hmm? And trust me, I know the things that I've said there are going to come true. Yeah, I'm so grateful if you have watched this far. Thank you so much. It's because of you that I want to put my content out there. And yeah, for my grandchildren, they'll watch this and they'll be like, "Yeah, sure, sure." Alikwa, alikwa na YouTube. Yeah. Let me end the video right there. I hope that the questions that I've answered have shed a light to you getting to know me better and getting to know the kind of content you're expecting. So yeah. Oh, the sun has already gone down. Anyway, bye guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching.